Hey guys, I got a new video for you. This is the new Galaxy S7 on the left. This is my old daily driver, my current daily driver, the Nexus 6P on the right. And I wanted to do a quick um, LT speed test for you here in the Portland area. You can see the device name says S7, model name, model number says Nexus 6P right there. Now let's pull up speed test. And right now the bars you can see they are both about four out of five bars. I will test the 6P first and we'll see what the speed is. Right now it's about almost two o'clock in the afternoon. And it's going up to 24 down and about 15, 16 up, 18 up, which is great. I mean, that's pretty good speeds, you know. If it was at six, five, then it might be slow, but I, I'm happy with 24 down. And the speeds always vary depending on the time of day. You know, if you're trying to do a speed test at rush hour traffic when everyone gets home around six, seven o'clock, it's probably going to be a little slower. You do it at midnight where everyone's asleep, it's probably going to be a little bit faster. I've had speeds go all the way up to 70 something, you know, so it just depends on the time of day. So you can see the S7, it went down, or the down speed was 31, and the up speed is 17. Now let's do that again. Now you can see this one is changing. It went a little bit down to 17. And you know, in doing these tests multiple times, a handful of times, I've always noticed that it fluctuates. You know, it's going to be tough to get the two exact same speeds uh, right after each other. You know, I don't know what the variables are, but the uh, the tests always fluctuate. You can see that was 17 down, and then this one is now back at 31 down. Let's do that one more time now. I'm expecting these two because they're both uh, Qualcomm Snapdragons. I, I think they're going to have the same performance, you know, and, you know, variability aside, they probably share the same lineage in the LTE modem chipset that's inside this phone. One is uh, Snapdragon 810, one is the newer Snapdragon 820. So I don't think I'll get a better performance from one or the other. Now here's the thing, let's do both at the same time. Six P got fifteen down, S seven got twenty. So it goes back and forth. I mean, I've had tests where this one was slower by you know up to five. This one was higher. So even though right now it's showing that the S seven is faster, I wouldn't say one is significantly faster than the other because I think they're they're going to give you about the same uh, you know average throughput as far as LTE modem speeds. That one just got 26 and 20 down, 26 down, 22 up. And here's a Samsung again. Third three down. Twenty-two up. So there you go, guys. I mean, I don't think there's a huge difference in speed. Uh, I think uh, the two chipsets are pretty close to each other, the A10 and A20. Um, as far as LTE modem speeds, I think if you're maybe going from a couple generations from each other, like the Nexus 5 or something up to the Samsung X7, then you may see a different speed because, you know, the improvements in LTE modems and such. But, I mean... There you go. I don't think there's going to be a huge difference.